science exam is coming, okay, board exam panels. Can you help us with a few tips and tricks that we can like use and score more? Well, uh, from the science point of view, uh, to be give, giving you tips, I would suggest, uh, first of all, from, from a chemistry point of view, you can go for nomenclature in carbon's compound because not just from the board examination point of view, it's something that actually is carried forward in class 11th and 12th as well. So if you get a good concept in regards to that, that would help you in few, uh, further classes as well. Apart from that, metals and non-metals is something that has basically been favorite to CBC board examination. They generally ask a lot of questions related to reactivity series and the properties of metals and non-metals. So that is something to focus on. And also specifically on the electron dot structure, which is a compulsory question to come in board examination. So you you can be assured about it if you practice it you'll get that particular part covered already and uh, acid bases and salts and chemical reactions those are basically uh, topics where you actually have to learn a lot of reactions so in those cases try and develop some sort of a strategy in regards to those reactions as to what you can do in let's say if a displacement reaction comes up what exactly are you going to do about it so you should be knowing the reactivity series so those, those two chap chapters actually work mutually so if you get a good hang of them, you should be able to do well in chemistry and the periodic classification. Again, that chapter can be related back to metals and non-metals that helps you develop an understanding of metals and the non-metals and their properties. So trying to couple these three concepts together along with the carbon compound should cover a good amount of your chemistry syllabus for board examinations.